welcome back to another video. This week we spent the week at Centre Parks in Longleat Forest. So we arrived um, on day one and we weren't allowed into our accommodation until four o'clock that day. So we got there just after lunchtime so Daisy could sleep in the car on the way up. And then we just spent the day looking around, getting to grips with the place. I could not believe how big it was. I definitely underestimated that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and you enjoy seeing what we get up to this week. What's Daisy got to drink? Shoot! Someone's on their holidays! Morning everyone, it's our first morning waking up in our cabin. It was all a little bit crazy last night and there is <laughs> a huge mess in the kitchen that we need to tidy um, because we kind of got in and yeah, just basically quickly made some dinner and got Daisy down for the night because it was quite late. This is little Daisy's room. She's just woken up this morning. Um, so she's taken the, the room with the two single beds and we've managed to stretch our video camera up. And this is the cot that Longley Centre Parks provided us with. So we've just set it up how she has it at home. And um, yeah, she slept really well. This is, yeah, our kitchen It's a bit of a mess, but it's really good and then the bathroom daisy had a bath in here last night and i won't show you in the bedroom just yet because <laughs> daisy and matt have no clothes on um but yeah it's really nice it's perfect just what we need we bought a lot of our toys and they provided a high chair as well which is really great so this is the double bedroom hi, hi. daisy's just listening to her little song video and then this is the view from outside our window, although you can't really see, I have to go out there. But we have got like a little lake out there, which is very cute. Oh no! <laughs> Daisy woke up this morning with crazy hair, so I had to put it up. <laughs> so cute. It's long enough now to put up. Are you okay getting down? Slide. Yay! Well done! Daisy got these little matching cards for Christmas. So we bought them with us in the box of toys that we decided to bring. And um, she's quite good at actually doing all the noises. Thank you, darling. Who have we got here? The farmer. Farmer. She's quite good at actually doing all the animal noises now. Um, but it, yeah, it only holds her interest for a short amount of time and then she's off. <laughs> but it is this orchard toys. I think they do quite a lot, but um, yeah, this has been a success. <laughs> yeah, come and get the pig. Where's the pig? Yeah, clever girl. Where's the pig? Where's the pig? Yeah, good girl. So I've made um, <clears throat> just eggs on toast for breakfast this morning and have some fruit and yogurt as well. And one thing I will say is that I thought that they would have salt and pepper just here in the cabin, but they don't. So our ah! eggs <laughs> aren't gonna be as nice as what they could have been. So yeah, if you're coming to Centre Parks, bring everything. Like they don't have sugar for your tea or um, yeah, salt and pepper. So um, yeah, <laughs> that's some word of advice. Daisy. 
Coming to get you, Daisy. Coming to get you, Daisy. Where's Daisy? Can you do beep beep? Beep beep! Good girl! So we spent a bit of time in the soft play and then we booked onto a messy activity. So I think it was called Mucky Pups. And it was, I think it was about £12 to book onto. So I didn't actually realise this before I came to Centre Parks, but the activities aren't all free so you've got like swimming that's free and you can use the little mini soft play and there's obviously walks and if you take your own bikes that's obviously free but there are activities that you can book onto that you pay a little bit extra for so we decided to do this the other thing to mention was that it was only one parent allowed. I think because of the pandemic, they weren't letting both parents in or any other kind of family members. So I took Daisy to Mucky Pups and then the next day, Matt took Daisy to a sensory toddler play, which again, I think was around the same price. Anyway, she absolutely loved this activity and it's prompted me to get a few more craft bits since coming home because she just, yeah, she enjoyed it so, so much. There was painting and spaghetti and glue and water play. Yeah, I couldn't recommend this enough. <laughs> just come back from the beach and Daisy got absolutely soaking she fell over in the water and all her wellies got wet and all her leggings and her waterproof suit so um, we had to come back because obviously it's like three degrees <laughs> where we are so um, yeah we've come back we've had um, a change of clothes and I've had a shower because we're going to go out for something to eat tonight. Matt's just in the shower now. So we're just playing with a bit of Play-Doh. She got Play-Doh for Christmas. She absolutely loves it. She likes putting it in and out of the pots and then she likes using this. This is supposed to be like a rolling pin but she likes to stab and make circles like this. Um, <laughs> so yeah this has definitely been a really good Christmas buy that we got her. Um, yeah, so we're just going to chill here for a bit and then we're going to go to Bella Italia, I think, for dinner tonight. Daisy, do you eat a miss? Oh, thank you. Oh. 
Good girl. Good girl. Good eating, baby. Matt's ordered something way too spicy. Can't can't cope. <laughs> it's doing well though. You could you could leave that slice to be fair. And just say I'm full. You could you could easily do that. Daisy's got some stickers. You gonna stick? When we booked our cabin, we said that we wanted some um, logs for the fire. So we just picked a pack of three and I thought they would be just literally like kindling, like actual logs, but they come like this and um, you literally just light the wrapper at the ends and on the corners, put them in the fire, literally just one at a time um, in the wrapper and then it just burns for a couple of hours. So it literally just couldn't be simpler. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. Because Centre Parks is self-catering, we did obviously a lot of the cooking ourselves. We ate out a couple of times, but I did the majority of the breakfasts, lunches and dinners. And today we just had crumpets with some cereal, some yoghurt and some fruit. And yeah, it went down really well. This is also the stuff that we used in the night last night and over breakfast this morning. Daisy woke up in the middle of the night last night really upset and it turns out she's got a cold so that's great. Um, but luckily I bought this, this is our first aid bag um, and it literally has everything in it that she might need if we go away and she might get ill. So got the nose spray and um, that's for me because I'm getting terrible pregnancy heartburn um but yeah we've got we've got the plugins actually that we did put on last night as well yeah we've got um the nappy ointment in case she gets nappy rash we've got cream for her face in case she gets a um, rash on her face which she sometimes gets so yeah I'm just really <clears throat> really pleased I bought all of these bits um, because although our night wasn't great it definitely helped having all of the medicine here so this is the bike setup Daisy's got on an all-in-one waterproof suit she's got on these little waterproof foot covers because she hasn't got any shoes on underneath there because I wanted her to be comfortable she's got on lots of layers <laughs> and a fleece on top She's got a helmet on, haven't you? And then she's got a dummy. We didn't have a string to attach the dummy, so we just improvised with plain cloth. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see. And you've got your mittens. We'll see how we get on, because she um, isn't in the best moods this morning. But uh, we're going to give it a go, aren't we, Baba? So after our bike ride we headed back to the cabin and we were surprised by a load of ducks on our patio so we got some food out and were feeding them and Daisy was absolutely loving it, it was so so cute to watch her. She spent ages feeding them and making quack noises and yeah it was really really nice. And then I decided to cook a roast. I knew I was going to do a roast at some point during the week, but I thought today would actually be a good day because Daisy's slightly unwell. It was quite cold, so I thought to stay in for a couple of hours over lunch was probably quite sensible.
after lunch we decided to go for a walk. Daisy was getting really really tired and because she had her blocked nose we thought just putting her down in the cot probably wouldn't go that well so we decided to go out for some fresh air and give her a nap in her push chair. So we walked from our cabin all the way to the swim plaza which is actually about a 35 minute walk. We just couldn't believe how big Centre Parks was and we didn't realise that it was going to take that long to get places so um, yeah we were quite happy to do that so that Daisy could have a sleep. It was actually really nice to walk around Centre Parks and not use the train all the time because you got to see everything and see what was there and we got to go through the Winter Wonderland bit at the uh, village place, I think they called it, which was really nice. Daisy is um, really not very well. She is so blocked up and although she looks okay now, we've had quite a rough night. <laughs> so um, she woke up at half five so Matt and I have taken it in turns to have a bit of a lie in. Um, so Matt's asleep now. Um, and I've just been going through her animals with her. I've been just like laying them out and then asking her to point to each animal. Are you a cheeky girl? You got a snotty nose. Mm. So I think if you're planning on doing centre parks break with your little one, you're definitely gonna wanna bring things to entertain them, like the tablets, like, oh, hello, hello. <laughs> like the games um, we bought yesterday in the um, little like park market thing. Um, a sticker book and she loves like peeling stickers off and there's stuff to do at the end of the book like it's a bit grown up for her but um, she can point like at where the butterfly is where the star is that sort of thing definitely worth it for three pounds I will show you a toy that um, she got recently from Whirly um, you may have seen my um, other video reviewing Whirly um, Anyway, uh, if you haven't seen it, then it's definitely worth a watch if you've got small kids. Um, but I got this recently from Wally. It's like a Mr. Potato Head. So I can't remember how many points this was to borrow. Um, but I saw on someone's Instagram that getting a Mr. Potato Head is quite good for teaching them their body parts. So Daisy's pretty good. She knows. That's her nose, isn't it? Where does the nose go? It goes here, darling. Um... Yeah, like, she's pretty good. She does know most of her body parts, but I thought it just would help, like, reinforce that learning um, if we can put the body parts on Mr. Potato Head and then she can um, tell me what they are or she can pick them out. Daisy, could you get Mr. Potato Head's eyes, please? Where's his eyes, Daisy? Good girl, that's his eyes. Oh, 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 oh,
after a long day, I made a chicken curry. I used the leftover chicken from the roast the day before and I wasn't sure what Daisy would think of this because she's being a bit fussy at the moment with sauce but she absolutely smashed the whole lot and she really, really enjoyed it so I was glad I made it. And then it was an absolute mission to get her to bed that night so Matt and I literally just crashed out as soon as Daisy fell asleep. She, yeah, she took like two hours to fall asleep because of her cold. Bless her. It's our last morning today, so I have tried to use up everything that we've got left over. Daisy? <laughs> Daisy doesn't want to come off her tablet for breakfast. Daisy, you're going to come and have some scrambled egg? It's your favourite. Angry face. Happy face. So Daisy's decided she doesn't really want to eat this morning. So on her tray, she's got scrambled egg, toast, cocoa pops, orange, and grated cheese. And she has had maybe three mouthfuls of cheese. So that's really good. So our plan this morning is to try and pack up. And then Matt's going to cycle down to pick up the car if that makes sense um we can't you can't keep your cars like next to your lodge you have to keep them in the car park which is actually quite far away so <coughs> matt's gonna cycle to the car put the bike on the back of the car drive back up here we're gonna load up our stuff then drive back to the car park which is by the swimming plaza <coughs> and then we're gonna go swimming thank you so so much for watching the video i know it's been a bit of a long one we really had such a good time and I was just saying to Matt that it just goes to show how good Sense Parks is that you can still really enjoy it even when your baby has got a cold and it's raining half the time. So yeah, I definitely recommend it and we're definitely going to come back. Thanks guys, I'll see you in my next one.